What's up, ladies and gents? This is KC Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. What's it been, a week since the Taken Kings come out? And we finally have our first cheese to go ahead and share with anybody that's due in the Nightfall. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, this cheese revolves around the Saber Strike and more specifically, the Warsat portion of the Strike. First things first, though, I've got this 310 Black Spindle that I picked up yesterday, but it's kind of a bugged and glitched weapon. Basically, Bungie didn't intend for the Black Spindle to come out at 310. It's supposed to be 290 like all the other exotics. So Bungie is actually going to correct this bug, and your 310 Black Spindle is actually going to turn into a 291. So before that ends up happening, I'm actually going to utilize that extra power and bump up my own gear. So right there, you can see I now have a 305 thousand yard stair. Also, you can go ahead and purchase 300 attack variations of the Black Spindle and use it to bump up some of your other gear. I actually used it to bump up my fusion rifle and my shotgun right there. They didn't hit 300. I mean, they could if I purchased multiple ones, but I just bought one Black Spindle apiece for the fusion rifle and for the shotgun, and it still bumped up their attack value significantly. So make sure you do that. That's just a little public service announcement before your 310 Black Spindle turns into a 290 and you're kind of stuck with having lost that little bit of a chance to infuse something over 300. Now, the key to this strike is getting through this Warsat area, and anybody that's done the shield strike knows that this part stinks. It's really difficult, even on Heroic, especially if you're with randoms. So on Nightfall, yeah, even more difficult. But thanks to our old friend, the Sparrow Glitch, we can avoid this encounter completely and be 100% safe. Now, pretty much any of these walls around here, you can actually go ahead and use the Sparrow Glitch to go through. I'm just going to pick this one, and you can see right here I can still summon it, even though I'm basically right against the wall. And there goes my Sparrow right in front, and there I go hitting the ground, and there I go falling off the map. So that is super awesome. That is really, really a clutch, clutch Sparrow Glitch kid. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe we ended up going through the map like that. All right, I'm going to leave that in just so that you can see that, yeah we mess up to. We're gonna go for take number two, and we get our nose through, and yes, we do land on solid ground this time. Kudos! If you just joined the video right now, I did that my first time completely. I did not fail the first time at all. <laughs> Next thing you need to find the Warsat. It's sitting right here through the ground, and you can go ahead and scan it right from underneath here. Once you do that, you're starting the nightfall, basically this part of the mission. All you need to do is sit around in the transmit zone until it's all said and done. That's it. All you have to do is sit. The Fallen or Hive or whoever it is that comes in to fight you isn't going to be able to do anything to you. The one thing is you're not going to be able to shoot out with your armor-piercing sniper rifle anymore either. Bungie fixed that in the 2.0 patch. Something else to keep in mind, make sure you stay in the transmit zone the entire time. In this particular run, I was walking around, I was outside the zone, I was shooting at the feet of the Fallen, taunting them, and they were just dealing damage to the Warsat. Unfortunately, they dealt way too much damage to the Warsat, and it ended up blowing up before I was able to finish transmitting. So don't do that. Stay in the transmit zone the entire time. You can actually get the attention of the Fallen a little bit if you want, by just shooting at their feet or something, if you feel like they might be shooting at the Warsat a little bit. But as long as you stay in the transmit zone the entire time, you're going to be able to finish this up. It's really not a problem, not difficult at all. Again, I'm the only one here, I'm solo. That's it. We finished up the Warsat portion of everything. We basically got our ticket to the next level. Now, the only thing left is to leave. So I'm going to see if I can actually get out of here. Uh, you can't get out of here by jumping. I feel like if you probably went over to a wall or something and did a sparrow glitch out, you could get through it. Um, otherwise, the simplest method is obviously dying. Now again, this is by far the most difficult part of the strike. You can do this solo, you get through it, and then after you're done, you can invite some of your buddies in to maybe finish up the rest of the strike with you. You can say, hey, I've already gotten past the Warsat portion, and you want to just come in and kill Frank the Shank and be done with it. And they'll probably say, yeah, sure, because I need Nightfall rewards. <laughs> But yes, this is an extremely difficult portion of the strike, but whenever all is said and done, again, once you die, I still have the marker to open up the bunker. So I'm going to just drive over there and show you that yes, you can go ahead and open the bunker, move on to the next stage, and you didn't die at the war set at all, aside from killing yourself on purpose. That's it. That is our first cheese of the Taken King. 
There's probably going to be more. There's going to be more to come, I know. But I wanted to put this out there because I always like helping people get through content and cheeses help the most people get through the most content possible. I needed to thank my clan member, Raf, because he was the first person to let me know about this cheese existing. So after that, I went ahead and tried it out for myself. And it works. And now you're going to get to use it. So anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your nightfall. And I'll see you around in Destiny. Cheese.